Hola amigos, it's Will here from Will's Custom Figures and coming at you today with a big bad breakdown of some of my recently made custom figures coming with two absolute juggernauts of the 1990s, Hakushi and Paul Bera. There is no more deserving figures especially Hasbro old school 90s figures than these two in my opinion. I've worked on many many Hasbros over the years and these two should have had an official and I'm sure you guys will also agree with me. So let's break it down. I have got a massive massive history and love with Paul Bearer. I love this guy. He was such a big character and personality in my childhood. Um, my son is watching wrestling at the moment and you know Undertaker's dad and Kane's dad is never stood out more and uh, you know the reaction of my son watching it now in you know 2021 is no different to my reaction watching him in the late 90s. What a phenomenal and imposing character. I really tried to use that purple there to capture that deathly look. Used a nice white wash over a normal um, skin colour that I use with that whitewash just to pick out all of the details. It's not just one color. There are multiple different shades here. Sorry for the, uh, the my, my shaky hand. I'm actually waiting for an operation on my hand <laughs> just to go off topic um, because they think I have a uh, carpet tunnel. So that's something I'll keep you guys, um, keep you guys in the loop of. But he's got just a single tone black hair head sculpt um that is quite easy to paint i've tried to add lots of extra detail into all the other parts of him um such as the handkerchief all of the buttons on here uh, i've done a couple of different tones on this awesome looking urn and as you can see he does have little all the little details like buttons um on the uh, on the cuffs of his uh, on the cuffs of his suit there as well did a nice gloss on the shoes to make them look like they've just been polished and for me, this is probably the definitive Paul Bearer that I would think of if I was thinking of uh, his time managing The Undertaker. I am really, really sorry that I haven't got an Undertaker to show you with him. However, uh, needs must. And um, I've used that recently for another custom that I've been working on. Now to move on to another person. And for me, one of the MVPs and most important people of the 90s, Hakushi. Talk about transcending professional wrestling and countries he didn't have to have a fantastic promo to stand out with his fantastic matches against brett the hitman Hart and the other people that he was up against razor ramon one two three kid etc during this era um very very deserving of his own hasbro figure this head was actually sent to me and you can see the amount of time taken to get in all the details there he hasn't got like a perfect mustache he kind of has like more stubble so wiping off all my paint and then dry brushing that on there was very important. But then the intense black, dark, thick lettering all over his body. Um, I'm really pleased with how this has turned out. I'm going to move my camera down slightly so you can get a bit more of the tattoos in there. He's covered from head to toe. I don't know if these were actually meant to be tattoos. I know they really weren't. Um, or if uh, for storyline purposes, it was meant to just be like graffiti or writing on his body. But I really enjoy how it's turned out. This was sent to me by Paul, fantastic customer of mine who has some very, very creative ideas and always has great projects for me to work on. So, Paul, thank you for doing that. I didn't use a solid black similar to um, Paul Bearer. However, I used a little bit of brown, a little bit of green in there just so it's slightly off black but not quite grey. So you can still get all the browns and all of the colours in there, even with a even with black hair, um, without using black by mixing browns and greens and things like that in, you can still get that look. Guys, that is it from me on this video. What an absolutely fantastic set of two figures. Sorry there isn't an Undertaker, as I mentioned, to pose um, the one and only Paul Bearer with. Please let me know in the comments section below if there's anybody else that you want me to work on because this has got to be two of my favourite all time. I'm really pleased with how they turned out. They've still got their full articulation that you would expect. I think that's a Jeff Hardy um, lower body that's been used for Kushi and um, the Paul Bearer um, looks like that's uh, quite a, a fantastic custom sculpt there um, by whoever has made those. Now, 
they stand about four and a half inches tall classic hasbro style and the history alone of this pair makes it very important to me to do a really good video i hope you guys have liked this i'm going to put lots of pictures up i cannot wait to show you the future figures that i'm working on as well and i'm looking forward to shipping these guys off as you can see there's a sneaky little jimmy hart in the corner there looking over if you've not seen that video please have a look at that now let me know what you think please comment like subscribe follow me on youtube instagram facebook let me know if you've got any questions queries if you want one of these or if you want to make your own and i'll be more than happy to help you guys do that thank you so much for watching i look forward to seeing you on the next one and thank you again for tuning in it really does mean a lot